And what's going on, everyone? And welcome to another virtual edition of NHL Now. Laura Gardner and EJ Raddick here with you. And it is an absolute honor to introduce today's guest, Mr. Javier Gutierrez, who made history earlier this week as the first Latino to be named president and CEO of an NHL franchise and is now heading up the Arizona Coyotes. Now, Mr. Gutierrez, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. I know you're a busy man. No, no, thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. And uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you all in person and shaking hands uh, in person sometime <laughs> soon. So thank you. I gotta really tell you, man, the in-person handshake, that's the thing I think I miss most about this quarantine and the lockdown. Yeah, absolutely. I have to wear gloves. I'll do whatever it takes. But, <laughs> um, I do want to ask you, I mean, what does being this type of pioneer mean to you, not only personally, but how do you think it can help in further promoting diversity in this sport? Sure. Sure. I appreciate the question. And first and foremost, I'm honored and I'm humbled uh, by this opportunity. I'm incredibly grateful uh, to, uh, to Alex Morello for opening those doors. You know, he and I have known each other and been business associates for over a decade. So we've done a lot of investments and deals. Uh, but this is, uh, this is unique. I know what this franchise means to him and to his family. Uh, I know what, uh, what sports teams mean to their communities. And I'm just, uh, I feel truly blessed to be here. In terms of what it can do, I think this is just a continuation of a lot of efforts that have come before me to have this sport and have this league really reach out to new fans, uh, whether they be Latinos, whether they be female hockey fans. Um, and I, I really, I'm excited. I'm excited to be part of that. I'm excited to be uh, someone who can help be a catalyst for that. And uh, I'm just, I'm just raring to go. Javier, congratulations on the new uh, opportunity, and we wish you nothing but uh, the best and a lot of success there with the Coyotes. Uh, you know, in the introductory press conference, you talked about uh, in that market, in the, uh, the Phoenix, Glendale, greater area there, the Latino market represents about 40% plus of, uh, mm -hmm. of the actual market. So that's a big piece of property right there. What are things you can do to kind of attract that group of people to hockey more? Is it more broadcast in Spanish, different things? What do you mm -hmm. think you could do to help kind of push this along even further? Sure. Well, as I said uh, in my remarks a couple of days ago, it's, it's a business decision, right? And it makes sense to have such yeah. a big part of, of the bar market of our community for us to reach out to them, for us to embrace them. And uh, I just think from a, from a business perspective, which is, you know, for better, or for worse, how I look at things initially, um, it just makes business sense. And so how do we do it? I think it's, I think it's really three ways uh, primarily. One is, is actually reaching out. It's extending the welcome mat. It's incumbent upon me. It's incumbent upon us to go out and to say, you are part of this team. You are part of this franchise. You are what will drive us to success. So I think that starts first and foremost. I think second, uh, the Latino community, as with many other communities, we're very family oriented. So it's about exposing them to this great sport as a family, as a family experience, as a family event. And so it's positioning it that way. And then finally, you know, again, bringing in some of my uh, business uh, background, it's utilizing technology. As I said before, uh, I want us to be at the vanguard of the confluence of sports and technology and digital and media and e-gaming and, and all these other incredible things that are going on. And so I, I think it's all those things. I don't think it's one, uh, but I do believe it starts by saying, you are our team. You are our fans. And, and we will be part of reaching out to you. You just spoke about business so much there. Uh, obviously winning, good business. I love Mr. Morello's shirt for that press conference. I mean, how does it speak to just the passion that you both have for winning, whether it be on or off the ice? Because you guys have really good chemistry. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we, we, we certainly have a, a bit of a different style, but we both share the same, the same fire, the same passion. Uh, you know, if Alex uh, was sitting here next to me, we'd both say the same thing. We want to win. He's a little more colorful. He's a little bit more, um, you know, he, he will literally wear it on his sleeve or on his shirt. Uh, but we both share the same. And, um, you know, it, it makes sense, right? Hockey is without a doubt the most passionate uh, uh, sport out there. Uh, the fans are passionate. The players are. The sport itself just brings out 
uh, that energy and that fire. And uh, it, it really fits who we are as, as individuals. I, I want to ask you about the arena situation again. That was a topic that you guys discussed at the, mm -hmm. at the uh, press conference the other day. And, you know, going back to before that building was even built, I heard <laughs> concern about, you know, where it was in terms of the hockey fan base in sure. the area. Uh, it sounds like you guys are looking to try to, to do something different. The arena itself is beautiful. It's just maybe the location that has been a problem. Where are you guys going with that? Yeah, so, you know, obviously there's been a lot of conversations predating me. I'm trying to get myself up to speed. And, yeah. and the bottom line is all, uh, all options are on the table. But I think a couple of good things. First and foremost, you heard directly from Alex, Arizona's home. We, we are not going anywhere I've literally relocated my wife, Jerrica, my son, Javi. We are now part of the Phoenix community. We're really excited about that. So uh, that, I hope, is a, is a good tell uh, as to our commitment to that community. As far as location, I think, you know, we're going to, and, and again, I'm going to take the lead on that, take in all of the stakeholders. Uh, we're going to take in uh, what's important to our fans, what's important to our team, what's important to our, our corporate sponsors, and uh, what is going to be the right decision for long-term stability, long-term financial prosperity. And so we're excited. I, I, I see it as a great opportunity. I see it as a great chance to, to really say this is what Coyotes Hockey's future looks like. In your mind, what is the new mission statement? for this franchise is hopefully we return to play sooner rather than later. And we have kind of this new era of Arizona. Yeah. Hockey. I think it's win on the ice, win off the ice, right? We want to be a model franchise, uh, both. And I have a lot of respect for John Chaika and for Rick Tockett, what they're doing. Uh, the fact that here we are postseason, hopefully and, when, it, when, when something, you know, can be announced, uh, but it's been announced, obviously, we're going to be uh, facing the National Predators in the first time for, for years. And everyone, this is what players look for, right, to be able to win a cup, but to win on the ice. And now it's incumbent upon me to have us be uh, the model sports franchise. As, as I share with people, given my background, I want to be a good business, period. And the fact that since in sports is – is just that much more incredible. Hey, Javier, you know, I'm looking at your background. Uh, from what I understand, your first hockey game you went to was when you were at Harvard in, back in 91, yes. Harvard and RPI. What do you remember about that game? Uh, I remember saying, what is a kid from San Jose, California uh, <laughs> doing at an ice <laughs> arena? Um, no, I, I remember it very vividly. I actually still have my, my Harvard hockey jersey, despite the fact that my, my wife, Jerrica, would like for me to replace it with something <laughs> newer. Um, but, um, but no, it, it, it really, to me, it was transformative. And, and I think I share that with a lot of other fans. Um, you know, once you go to your first game, you never forget it. Yeah, it, it really is. It's, it's totally addicting. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> After yeah, me yeah. as well. Um, I, I feel like we could go on for hours and just get to know you a little bit better, but we are out of time. It was an absolute pleasure meeting you. Congratulations once again, and we yeah. cannot wait to see what, uh, you know, the future holds for for you and for the Arizona Coyotes. So thanks Great. for joining Thank us. You. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. I'm happy to be back anytime. Go Yotes. <laughs>